Today on Iron Kingdom. Go. Go, keep going, yeah. Robots flowing, yeah. Go, oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, ah, yeah. Ooh, hey, more seconds. one, yeah. Ooh, doing it for, yeah. Ow, oh, charity, oh, yeah. This is so embarrassing. Ooh. That's it, 50 yeah. seconds, guys. To save everyone. Good evening and welcome to Audio Dungeon. Today's episode is a very special one. It is called Law of the Land. But what makes it special is that we are doing the entire episode in um, in hope that we can raise 200,000 stars, which is uh, $2,000 for pancreatic research, uh, pancreatic cancer research, rather, um, for a company called Pank One. We just had an interview. We just sat down with the Michelle Capabianco before the show, and uh, we just talked about um, the, uh, the signs, the symptoms, and... Um, the harsh realities of pancreatic cancer so we are hoping to raise as much money as we can and uh there'll be a lot of uh small moments to, to donate to the show every single donation will be going to pank one um for for their research and such and it sounds like that they have a lot of breakthroughs coming coming forward and they just need the help to to uh keep that rolling forward uh so once again you can donate on all of our platforms on facebook on twitch on youtube right now while we're live and uh, after that, you can go to their, their website, uh, which I believe is pank1.org. Um, so, guys, please donate right now. We are at about, I could check it right now. Currently, we are at 28,000 uh, stars. Guys, when we reach 50,000 stars, I will handle, I handle a magical item out to one of the group here. And I will also begin allowing rerolls and all sorts of things uh, at 50,000. We're not too far away, guys. We're at 28,000 right now. Uh, 22,000 gets to the 50,000. We want to hit 200,000. So if this is the day, if you haven't donated before, this is the day to start. G give something. If you know someone that has, has, uh, has, has suffered with pancreatic cancer in the, in the past, you know, a loved one, unfortunately, and if, you, um, if you're if you interested in making a difference, this is a, a great moment to do so. Uh, so without further ado, let's start the show right now. Today's episode is Law of the Land. Uh, this is episode four of Iron Kingdom. Are we joined by Dan yet? Did Dan uh, come in? There he is. Hey, hey what's up, Dan? guys? Daniel, Daniel. Thank you. Hello, Daniel, son. How's it going? Hair looks so this great. is what it's like? Yes. I've, it's the first time that someone's been on Zoom like. and I've been in. Oh, yeah. really? Wow. Whoa. Yeah, you see, it's you up there. You see, it's me up there. <laughs> <laughs> more, more than. Man. Your times. hair never looks that good, but. No, no. It, 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 it's, ever. But that's you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> perfect, perfect. The Keanu School. <laughs> so uh, this is episode four, Law of the Land, everyone. This is this is going to be an exciting episode. We have a lot of ground to cover and a lot of interesting things, interesting things that are going on right now. Uh, thank you to everybody who's giving donations in. It, it is uh, great to see. And once again, we are trying to reach 200,000 stars. We've just reached 32,000. We are Woo! going up. We're on our way up. Woo! So uh, we gotta do. We have until about 11, 11:15, 11 11:30, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's really, I really, really want to make that goal, guys. I really hope that you'll you'll uh, dig deep and help us out today. Um, so we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, when we last left off, a lot of things went down. In the and up. And up. And up. And up. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of things went up as well. Um, that one works. So when we last left off, we saw the epic journey of. Findalar becoming the Chronomancer. And a lot of interesting things, interesting things happened in that episode. Uh, we also saw the the departure of your anger version of yourself yeah. leave the world to take a portal to Silst. That's right. <laughs> which you are going to play today. Oh, excellent. Oh, my God. Cool. You can thank oh. Damien. So angry. So angry. I'm glad I don't have to play angry Findalar anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
was the right. best, best therapy session ever last week. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. The many moods of Findalar. Right. <laughs> so uh, we're going we're to be talking about that. Uh, last week we had Holgar who reached the um, the um, um, Lion's, Lion's Realm down south. He was swept away in the undertides. <laughs> and uh, that, was, that was fun for me. And, uh, <laughs> and, for me. And for me. And I have fun too in the show, you know. And, uh, but you don't that's say. Not all. I mean, we, we, we get to uh, visit Hogar making a visit to another prison again. And I feel like yes, that's the right. timing. I feel like the timing is incredible for this because if, if I'm going to get crazy trying to get out of this prison, I'm going to need some rerolls and some enchantments tonight. So get ready, guys. <laughs> Bring on the donations. <laughs> that's yeah. what he's saying. Dan's looking to kill all the good guys again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, one of those episodes. <laughs> Law of the land is going to be the law of that day that Hogar lays down. Yeah. <laughs> Hogar. Uh, Hogar. <laughs> Dan, we don't get them until we reach 50,000, right? Did you sell? No right. rerolls. Nothing until yeah, we at least get 50,000. 50, and first. then we're off, we're off from there to try to get Woo! to our 200,000 goal. Let's see where we're at right now. We are currently sitting at 32,000. Guys, All donate, right. donate, donate. We are 32,000, 18,000 just to get to the point where we can get some enhancements, get some rerolls. Let's do it. Very close, guys. Whatever you can do, guys, we appreciate it. Anything you do, we appreciate it. Always. Okay, guys. So, so uh, we're going to start actually with something a little bit different. We're going to start with the Red Knight. Who's me? Ooh. And the Red Knight has called a meeting of all dragon kind of the High Dragon Council. Oh, no. <laughs> Brooke, you yeah. are there as essence. This takes place... In somewhere very high up in Andaria. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> when are we ever? Yeah, Come on. I was about to say. When, when I we knew ever? this was coming. I just didn't know it was today. I would have rushed up and you know the dragon lawn. New dragon stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Luxon, thank you, thank you for the donation. Thank you to all the donations. They were happening while I was talking. Douglas, thank you so much. Uh, I know Lauren Hicks, uh, Tom, some of the crew here is donated as well. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Uh, Tim Shanks, uh, Joshua. Uh, Teresa, hey, thanks, Teresa. Andrew, Zachary, Nancy, Carla, guys, we appreciate it so much, guys. Uh, whatever you can give is great. Nick Lurkins, since I had someone close to him uh, passed away from pancreatic cancer, thank you so much, guys. What Joshua, who's also a kick ass survivor. Yes, all we, we, survivors we, out there. Yes, that was a great conversation. I'm glad to see that you're doing yeah. well, Josh. Um, so guys. Oh, 4,500 stars. Rerolls for everybody. I'm going to give you guys... There's a lot of stars that came in. I'm going to give you... Um, everyone take four rerolls each. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. All right. Wow. All right. Hey, Danny Godot. Thank how you. How you doing? Hey, goat. Say howdy, mom. <laughs> Danny Godot uh, joined. Say howdy, mom, for me, okay? Sorry. <laughs> You're a goat, right? I'm excited. You're a dog. You're, that's cool. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> it sounded like Mark Wahlberg talked to farm animals. Okay, so uh, one of my faves. The red knight. The red knight uh, walks into um, into this area. So basically, what you see, your character essence has been here before. Not many times, but you've been here before. Um, and basically, this area is basically just like floating rocks in the distance, and it's very high up in Andaria, and it's on something similar to. Um, to where your uh, your mother's from, and the rocks are just kind of like kind of floating, and all the dragons are like perched somewhere along at different heights all around, and the dragon, uh, the high lord, who's, whose name is Chaos, is sitting Perfect. in the middle. Um, and I'm down in the center, like, of, where am I? I'm sorry. So they have they have you down? and they they have a sword to your throat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. Starting off in yeah. a good place. You're 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 uh, one of the sides. So you're actually kind of higher up. Es essence is more revered because you are a governor. Not am, every... am I like along with alongside with them, or am I like everyone on... is around in circles, like I'm Coliseum style? All different I'm not heights. down in the Coliseum. I'm like you're watching. With everyone. Okay. You're just watching. Okay. You're okay. not. You're not in a high pressure situation. Gotcha. That's really the question you're asking me. Right? <laughs> yes, that's what I was asking. You're here for a meeting. Yes, Not gotcha. a murder. Gotcha. Exactly. <laughs> here for, you're here for a meeting. Okay. <laughs> but if anyone wants me to put in a hyper really situation, you could donate. Uh, give me 5,000 stars. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. I'll no. bring it on. Right in there. Right in the Evan better not be watching bring this. Bring it on. You tell me I get to kill Brooke I mean, for a good well, cause? <laughs> fine. All right. I'll, I'll take it. I might have to right? donate True. that much for that. That's true. <laughs> fine. I'll take there's it. What, there's four. There's Four, five, five of us at the table. There Dan, we go. Here we you, go. You ready for a thousand <laughs> each? We'll hold you up. Uh, ten bucks each. That's not bad. That's not bad. 
Okay, so um, <laughs> the Red Knight is called uh, called the uh, the meeting, and he walks uh, into the center of the entire thing. Chaos is down there in the middle. Uh, Chaos is uh, one of the largest dragons. The only other dragons very close to him is Atlas, who is there is also. Okay. No, not as right, now. Gotcha, Atlas gotcha. is alive because this is the past. We don't know. And don't tell him because he doesn't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> dragon kind. I have called you here today for a very important reason. You see what happens below, and you see what happens to Andaria, and you see the the fists, the clenching fists of Drogano as he ceases to destroy this world. Already has in his grasp. And the question is, when will he destroy it? So, I will not waste time. Today, I will be traveling east in an attempt to take back Solst from the half-giants, the cultists, of the dark majesty of Drogano. In my wake, I leave refug refugees, many that have come and need protection. They will go to the Red City anywhere they can, frankly. In my wake, there is an issue. The Crystal Born. They were meant to be future soldiers of the Red Kingdom. But it does not seem like that will be a reality. I wish for you all to rise up and those of you that are governors to destroy the Crystal Born. It's something that we must do. If we can't control them, they will be another menace. And in the fight with Dragano, it is not something that we need. Not another distraction. I am no longer an ancient. And I cannot fight so many wars and so many fronts. So, I'm asking. I'm asking that all governors be allowed ultimate domain. Something I have not done before. But I feel like this is the time. This means that from this day forward, every governor in their own lands will have ultimate power. The only thing that you cannot do is wage war upon mortals. But these crystal born do not fall into that category. They are something in between, something not meant for this world, and they should be destroyed. If they will not help us They must be stopped. It's been reported to me today that an assault by the Crystal Born on our most sacred city, the capital city, the Red City, was done. Many lives were lost. All in the hopes of saving more of their own kind. More of these constructs. So, Dragonkind, I call upon you. You have ultimate domain in all of your lands. Of course, you will adhere to all the rules set forth in the contracts that we have created when we first began the Dragon High Lord Council. You must merely now uphold those rules and laws once again. Are there any questions? He looks around the room. Yes. Essence. Do you know of any mortals that are helping these crystal born? And if so, are we to not wage war against them? You must do what it takes to, to destroy the crystal born. But do not wage war on the mortals. They are who we are trying to protect. If you see a mortal protecting these crystal born. Right. Then yes, that would be a problem. 
And what do we do? Whatever you feel is necessary, of course. If it's in your own domain. Do you have an interesting predicament? I will be going soon to Solst. These are your land's essence. They are. I hope that you will be there to aid us in the battle. I will. Also, I'm curious about the the ones that were sent by Findalar into some sort of rift underneath. What is your curiosity? Findalar and Arctum were specific on saying that they thought what they would find could shape our future. I consider it a priority to make sure that they survive. Understood. If there are no other questions, right now if any of you want to ask a question as one of the dragons, you can right now. I'll give you a few seconds. 1,000 stars coming in from Tim Shanks. Oh, stars didn't go through from me. Oh, he got it from four. Second 1,000 stars from uh, for Tom. Tom, so you got four rerolls coming. Yeah, Take it. I, I, um, which one? I put something out there that if anyone don't, donates 2,000 stars or more, I'll put them in a riddle in the future. Ooh, Ooh. cool. So, guys, next person to, to give 2,000. Well, he just put it does. That's, that's, yeah. right. that's what that is. That's what that is. I've just caught on. Welcome to the I show. Asked, I, asked, I asked Todd if he could keep track and tip in chat for me. So I'll know. Guys, I have something. Vin, will you do a robot dance for uh, five <laughs> yes! thousand stars? Wow. Oh. Five thousand stars. Oh, do yes, it, he will. We do it for good cause. Oh, yes, yeah. he will. Around. It's not going to be good. I can't guarantee yeah. it. It'll be good. great. But you have to try. <laughs> Guys, we're at 40,000 stars right now. 5,000 stars. We'll get Vinny up out of his chair and do the robot dance. You'll see it again and maybe, maybe never again. Yeah. 5,000 stars. Well, one hold person. on. Let, let, me get my, let me get my phone out. Get me. They're going to be above the camera. Don't worry about that. Oh, 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 they're going to get worry. you. Don't worry. Don't worry about the details. Don't worry about the technical crew. Don't worry about the capture of the base. Crew here who can move the camera to get you well, in frame. Yeah. All right, side working the working there. Right. Come on, guys! Five thousand stars will make Vinny do his robot dance. It'll be an amazing time for all of us. Charles Morrison says for a solid minute. Uh, that, that, that's kind of long. That's pushing it. How about, how about seconds. Push, fifteen seconds? Fifteen at seconds. Least, at least, yeah. Fifteen seconds is good. So I'll give you guys a little time to do that. So as if you guys have any questions that you want to ask as one of the Dragon Governors, you may um, go ahead. If any, I have a question as as me. Um, <laughs> as me, who, sure. nobody said that was allowed. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Who? Uh, what dragon does the sunken city fall under? Whose domain? That's a good question. That's a great question. Um, I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, because no. we're supposed to know. No, because oh. um, <laughs> it may be a part of today's episode. Oh, good. Oh, wow. So I will not answer that question. That's a great question. By the end of today's episode, you will you'll be able to answer that question right. with flair. Good. Uh, <laughs> Rick I mean, Flair. Ooh. Sounds bad, but okay. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> nah. So we um, get ready, Ben. Um, just regular flair. <laughs> How many pieces of flair you got? Uh, <laughs> 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 Not much. That's a great flare. movie, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Um, <laughs> I have a question as as random dragon seven. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a better name. Purple people eat a dragon. Yeah. Well, clearly a purple dragon. Yes. Red, um, red seven. Amethyst. <laughs> Stop. Um, <clears throat> my lord, what are your plans if you are not successful in battle? Should we avenge you? Or should we protect our own domains? If I perish, then this council will be ruled solely by chaos. And you will abide by his laws. I see the line is broken in the Red Kingdom. I may perhaps be the last legitimate king. Understood. There is something that we should talk about. As I, as I mentioned, you all have ultimate domain now, which means that you do not, need, do not need to confer with me. If you see it as a threat, you will do so as long as it does not hurt mortals. But if I perish, or 
the situation becomes dire. Chaos does have the power, since Ultimate Domain has been activated, to begin open war. And that is only if there is a need. And that means that anything goes in that case. The last time we had open war, we all remember the bloodshed that was caused by many dragons here in this council. So, I do not believe anyone wants that. I certainly do not. If the forces of Dragano grow, grow out of control, and there, if there's a need, that is the only way we will begin open war. Chaos like. Yes, my lord. So be it. I now ride east. <laughs> and I hope that can make a difference in Solst. I wish you all well. He turns around and walks out. Okay. Fly away. Everybody flies away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the hell you were doing over there for a second. I couldn't figure out why you were doing it is my point. Like, I, it, it didn't do it on me at first. I'm Dragon, Dragon 7. 7. <laughs> Come on. Random, random Dragon 7. Five hundred stars of Nancy. Thank you. Woo, Nancy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, girl. Make Vinny shake that booty. Oh, boy. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, Nancy booty. says I'm 5,000. I thought it was 500. Oh, yeah, no. It's only, you only put 500 there. If someone wants to fill okay. the gap of 4,500, we'll, we'll accept that. I'm going to give you guys, it's 921, you got until 925. Give me 4,500 more, and we will accept that for Mr. I, mean, I just gave five before. Does that count? Two, I gave a second thing. No, five. no, no. I gave a second thing. After we said... You gave more right now yes, recently? Yes, I just now. <laughs> just now. I don't see it here. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I can't confirm that. Todd, 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 please confirm that, Todd. See, the guys behind the scenes don't have time to come they're out and check hard. cameras if they're, they're working hard enough. Oh, Vinny, we're gonna get you. Don't up, worry, buddy. Don't the cameras worry. can see you. <laughs> right, don't worry, cameras can see <laughs> That's you. Right. Guys, we're at forty-one thousand stars. If wow. we get to fifty thousand stars, Woo! we will uh, begin the ability to use rerolls and to receive a plus bonus in battle. That comes up. I'll put it up right now. Forty-one thousand. And nine. Somebody gave zero 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 nine stars. We appreciate it. That's it. Okay. Um, get us over the top. Yeah. How do we show it? Yes, you can use you can use donation to give give um, re rolls. And we have it at forty five hundred stars. Nick Lurkins, <laughs> dance my friend. Nick Lurkins! Yeah! Yeah! There it is. Yeah! There it is. Let's see. Nick, yeah! I, okay, give a second. Nick, he, he, I wouldn't he. expect anything less <laughs> from you. From Nick Lurkins? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Vin, let's do it. I, uh, how 15 how seconds on the clock. I can't remember Hold how terrible. 15 seconds. You, Brooke, you realize you don't need to record yeah. me with a phone. There's oh, no, a phone. I, I have no, 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 right every angle. You know, I, have, I have a counter right I here. Need to I would have, you. I would, it's going to feel like eternity, just so you know. I'll give you 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Not that bad. I'm just trying to remember how I did it the last time so I can do it. I don't think anyone has an idea of how you're going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it because I don't even know how to do it. Feel the rhythm. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, go. one, go. Go, keep going, yeah. Robots flowing, yeah. Go, oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, ah, yeah. Ooh, Eight more seconds. Take one, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> doing it for, yeah. Ow, charity, oh, yeah. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> That's it, 15 yeah. seconds. Congratulations. Yeah. Was, well done. That was you so crazy. It. You made it. <laughs> the, the chat right now is clip, 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 clip. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it hit really well when you started doing like a wide arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to get the chest involved. Wait, wait till his daughter grows up and watches that clip. <laughs> Nah. She's teaching him his moves. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was the best dance right now. My, my daughter has better moves. She's than the me. best sure. dance right now. <laughs> she really is. I believe it. She can dance to anything. That kid. Guys, we are forty-five thousand five hundred. We are a short distance away. We're four thousand five hundred away from getting to the fifty thousand, which will unlock all the enhancements and rerolls. So. Please keep donating, guys. It we appreciate it. it. It's all going to Pank One. Every oh donation God. goes to Pank One today for oh pancreatic cancer research right now, guys. And uh, we you guys. appreciate your donations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we now head over to um, Arcane City. You fly over as um, Essence. You fly over and you land up top eventually. You get there in a short amount of time, in a few hours. And um, you're looking over the city and you're just looking over just like 
just ultimate chaos. You know, the whole thing, so much is destroyed. Um, most of the citizens have, uh, have left just trying to get anywhere they could out, out of the city. And uh, the ones that are st still there or are being rounded up, um, some are hiding out. And the half giants seem to be just like mulling about with no real order, no real leadership here. It just seems like they're just kind of mulling around and, and looting things and, you know, that's how it's been before and it's how it still is right now. Um, without mortals getting involved, you're not sure what your place is, 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 but you know the Red Knight's coming. So it's up to you. Do you want to take any action now or do you want to wait? When did I fly? When flying over the city, you say that there's really no organization. Is there one spot that's like a center for anything or not? It's just, it's just chaos. chaos. <clears throat> All right, so then I'll wait for the Red Knight. Okay. So you're, you're you're basically just looking over things, just watching um, from above. Okay. We're gonna go over to now into um, Sunken City, Arky, Votorious, and maybe more people soon. <laughs> you guys are at Boy. the sh at the shore, both of you. You've been training people, as you said. You've been getting helping in the city get ready. Jinty is with you right now, and the three of you are on shore waiting for these 20-something ships that are just coming in right now, and you are just very curious about what's going to happen. Um, they come all the way in as far as they can go, which is usually a lot further than they, than they do, and you're not sure if they're going to open fire or they're just going to come. You're not sure what to expect, and um, finally you see them when they go as far as they can, they lift the ships up into airships and bring them over and bring them into dock and lower them down right on, onto docks. Uh, the gangplanks fall. And you see a gnome walk out. And the gnome has like this huge um, rod, pretty much. So that's not, not the crystal rod, it's just a rod. Uh, and on the end of the rod is a small piece of emerald. Behind him walks crystal born and they're walking perfectly in sync like soldiers and each one of their heads is this another small emerald and for someone like you a craftsman the first thing you notice is that the other people are looking at it wondering why different things like that your mind goes to the craftsmanship of it and and notices that this is of course your 20 something level um Easily, you could tell that every single emerald is exactly the same size. It's like your your first assumption, and you're looking at it. And you're like it looks like they're exactly like it's been it's been calculated. All the crystal born walk out, and they just keep coming off ships. And within ten minutes, fifteen minutes, thousands of crystal born are just coming out. Finally, gnomish soldiers kind of fill the ranks. They have they have flamethrowers. They have old battle armor on, and they're they're walking out. Uh, you see a couple of gnomes in suits, which you can tell the difference between them. And um, you see, eventually, the one you're all waiting for, Bellaman comes out. He goes, okay, okay, let's keep it moving. They're so slow. <laughs> <laughs> he walks out. <laughs> he so, comes out. Do they all have crystals in their heads? Like, like all of them? Or Not that was just all like, of them. All Not of them. the ones that have um, the gnomes inside of them. Right. Just the actual crystal but board. The other crystal Yes, board. it's a very small amount, okay. too. Like, Almost small, like we say, chips. The small, that, that small little chip. It's even smaller than that. Okay. So, Arky, King Bellamon. Yes, welcome. yes. Yes, welcome, welcome. We have lots to do. Let's go talk. Very well. Okay. Are we gonna get it catered again? What do we have today? Did you prepare food? Yes, we will have from the Steel Magnolia. Your favorite. Great. Let's go. Let's go. Lead the way. All right. All right. This way. Come on. Okay. You guys, walk, you guys walk off. Uh, you, you guys, uh, he had the same much. He's kind of just in a rush. There's a couple of, a couple of pages following him along. And there's two uh, bodyguards that, are, again, are in uh, full armored suits. And they have the flamethrowers. There's a bunch of them. But there are two specific ones that are with him that follow him everywhere he goes. Um, you guys head into the vault. And you take him through your... <laughs> look at the, the disdain on your face. Um, <laughs> you, do you guys head to the, um, uh, the same room you have in the vault where you're... Yes, I think we should go to the vault. Yes, not the we tavern. go to the, yes. not the tavern, the vault. Then. We go to the vault. I can't wait to see where this goes. This, this, oh, just, this is going to be all sorts of amazing. The, the shadow all just sorts came of amazing. Down on him. Yes, yeah. I think we should go to the vault. Yes, 
Guys, we're at 45,000 oh. stars. 50,000 stars unlocks, yes. okay. enchantments, and rerolls. Help us get to 50,000 right Thank now. Thank you. Come on, guys. Let's get up there. 50,000 stars. Gonna be a Let's do it. So close. Uh, Whatever you can I'm give, we appreciate. To the vault. Yes. yes, you're in the party. Okay, you guys go into the vault. Um, there's a couple of guards from you guys. You guys have as well. They have a uh, uh, blunderbuss on them. And you guys go inside. The flamethrower guards sit outside. The blunderbuss guys are outside. And um, one, two, three, Jinty, and four, Bellaman go inside. And actually, two of his pages go inside with them. And they're taking notes and such. Okay. He sits down. And where's the food? Forget about the food. <laughs> Forget <laughs> about the food! <laughs> Do this meeting is starting until I get my food! Do you know what's been happening? Arky? You better feed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the food now. <laughs> Roll D20. <laughs> oh 12 or God. above, the food actually comes. Two. Oh. Arky, you full of shit! Where is it? <laughs> he goes to the door, opens the door. The guards look at him. I slammed the door. I stick my head out. Hurry on, someone! To the Steel Magnolia! Get Bellum on his food! <laughs> the guards will look at each other. I shut the door, too. <laughs> Fine, Wait. start! Uh, so... I am here! The Crystalborn. Yes. The Crystalborn. Uh... Have you been, have you been, uh, briefed by the Red Knight? So the Red Knight does not seem to have as much control over his Crystalborn as you do over yours. Yes, yes, we solved that problem. You did. Yes, yes, we just put well, the emeralds are allow the, the the powers around to be intermittent. So we figured out the exact distance, which worked out perfectly to being ahead, and it's symmetrical too, which is why I like it. So we put it right there in the head. It's the exact amount, and it keeps them like I, I would say uh, what I like to call a uh, stable uh, sentience. That's what I call it. It's a new kind of crystal board. Stable sentience. It's perfect. You've seen it. Bask in my amazingness. All the crystal born who arrived here prior to you are not under control. They've been roaming the countryside. They sacked the Red City. Yes, that is the problem. That's why now we have the next model 2.0 stable sentience. I see. And what uh, is your plan? Well, the Red Knight's plan, not my plan, because all my job is to do is make sure they're delivered properly. He's making a whole big fuss saying that we delivered it, but we didn't deliver it. We delivered it! I, I can vouch that you delivered so it. So you know what I'm talking about. I do. Great. So? So now here's what you, you... Apparently, you are going to be his last hold in case anything goes wrong, and these are the troops that are here to defend this city. So here you go. I can release him into your care. And, you know, that's it. My guards will stay around just to, just to lead them in case of any problems. They have, they have a certain rods to be constructed to make sure they stay in line. And everything's perfect. It sounds perfect. It is perfect. So? So why are you so stressed? You're stressing me. <laughs> well, these are stressful times. I <laughs> didn't realize you We've had everything. We've got war breaking out. Yeah. We've got battles. We've it's got been a stressful time, but now around. that you're here, we didn't realize how well in hand you had the situation. Yes. Well, now we see. It's all good. Indeed, it's wonderful. <laughs> well, what's going to be done about all those other ones? We'll take oh. care of that. Well, he wants me to stay here and make sure that this goes goes on like a, uh, I don't know, an example of, the, of their power and their servitude to the Red Kingdom. So when they come here, we will watch them destroy them, and then I will relinquish them all to you. All done. Sounds like a plan. Where is the food? It's coming. It's coming. Roll D20. 14 or above. <laughs> Two. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's just tapping his fingers. <laughs> At least looking at an empty bowl in the middle. You don't even have fruit on the table. You don't got any food here at all? So your intention <laughs> is to march this army of... It's like I'm not even here. No, are here. What? Didn't you just say they're going to stay here and protect the city? But fight, uh, wait, defeat the other Crystalborn in battle. And then you will... If they come here. Oh, they're coming. We saw them. Okay. When they come here. They're not marching away from this, from the sunken city. Correct. So 
So what are you what talking are, about, Arky? Are you sure you have uh, enough to deal with them? They destroyed uh, the Red City. <laughs> Please, I have enough. We have 50,000. 50,000? We're okay. Great, then. I, well, we've been working on our defenses. If, uh, in whatever small way that can help. Nah. Ah. <laughs> Not ah. needed. Yeah, so where's that food? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> roll. If you roll a two again, I swear to God. A nine. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the food? Go, leave, and don't come back until you have a chicken bone in your head. Okay. Well, uh, Boltorius, want to help me carry sure. the uh, food? Let's go. Sure. All right. Okay, you guys leave. You can role play. Okay. Cool. Are you walking to Steel Magnolia for real? Or? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get the food. I'd love to know what's going on in are that brain right now. Are they? <laughs> well, you're going to find out real soon. <laughs> are they expecting us? Yes. We okay. Didn't put in the order. I can't Did imagine you? what's going on. <laughs> Did you? You didn't order with Smithies. So I just I figured you had it all set up with Magnolias. So uh, I assume they're expecting us. Yes, and about that, right. not ordering from Smithies. Uh, it's fine. I understand we're on this side of the day. He, I know he likes the food from there. That's fine. No, nope, no offense. No problem. Don't worry about it. Great. Let's so, go. Come on. All right. So we walk. Let's get there. We start walking away. <laughs> you order from Smith and Noli with the owner, Frank Davis with his staff. You're like, whatever. I understand. <laughs> they have a different is. menu. I get it. That's you're, fine. You're, it's no good. That was kind of, that was kind of a, you're a good, <laughs> good friend of 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy. Yeah. I, he's only just got to the business. Try to try to do what he can get. It's fine. They don't have it's the real else. ranch. I you understand. need the real ranch. I enjoy Magnolia's place too. It's great. <laughs> That's your conversation. No, no, it's not. It's not it. <laughs> it's it's just the pre prelude. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. It's the prelude. So now the what are you talking? What, what's up? Okay, so an army of Crystalborn is going to come here and attack the city, which we kind of knew was inev inevitable. <sighs> I was hoping. Honestly, I was hoping maybe these. I don't want the sunken city to become a giant battleground between two oh, Crystalborn oh, armies. Of course not. That's why they're going to have to stop them before they get into the city. Like, outside of the walls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of hoping that they might just arrive like the others did. You know? Like Crystal Bourne. Like having their own sentience and all that? <sighs> I mean, it seems like he's got them under control now. It's a good thing, right? That's yes. what we need. Gonna have them, you know, just do whatever they want, you know, especially if they're, you know, aggressive. That's a good point. They're able you to know, be controlled. Or, or led around by the other guy. <clears throat> you know. Oh, the other Crystalborn? <laughs> yeah. Well, so what's our plan? Bellamon, I mean, he said he plans to leave the whole army here after right. he goes, after the battle. Right, he did. I don't want another occupying army in the sunken city. <clears throat> I was hoping all the Crystalborn would just go up to the wherever they're gonna go. Like, oh. I know they were said they were coming to the sunken city. We say, right? Here's some more Crystalborn. That's part of your journey's done. Go, you know, move on. Uh, and he would have been like, great. Fifty thousand stars, guys! Congratulations, we made it fifty thousand. Yeah, right. nice. That's awesome. All uh, re rolls are activated. Excellent. Enhancements Excellent. plus two bonus to all rolls is activated. Awesome, guys! Oh. Thank so, you. Thank you so much. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Next goal is one hundred thousand. Our our grand goal is two hundred thousand for the night, guys. Let's push it. Let's keep doing it. These rods they have, they can control the army. All right. So that's my understanding of it. Yes. If they were to leave them behind in the sunken city, we should have control of the rods, right? Well, whoever's, yeah, it would be, you know, whoever's commanding the forces of... Uh... No, not whoever. Well, you. Yes. <laughs> we have to get control of those rods. Bellamon is going to try and leave people behind. Well... Control his army. We're going to need help. We can't just be you all by yourself, right? No. He's going to need, like, commanders and, you know, like... Right? Me, you, and Jinzy, and folks. That's it? Just us? 
We're gonna command Where all, the wow, all these guys. All you need is one of those rods, and they'll do whatever yeah, we but want. But I think we need more than one. Didn't he say something about like proximity and yes, yes, all that well, such? Now I sound like Bellamont. We'll find the thing. <laughs> we'll get. <it. laughs> but yeah, I I agree. But I mean, he might have to leave some people here to help. Don't you think? I feel like Bellamont and the Red Knight have put us all in a very, very precarious situation. Well, that's yeah, the least of it. I right. I think the responsible <laughs> thing to do is to make sure that something so reckless cannot be done again. Okay. So what are you proposing? What do you, what do you mean? Like what? Whatever. Just want us, just want us to be in control of this army. If at the end of this battle, Palamon's army is still around, we have to make sure we have the crystal rods when it's all over. These emerald rods when it's all over. Okay. As you're walking, you see all the troops just moving in around the whole city. It's like tons and tons of crystal born everywhere. Because you're just walking past them and such. And they're just totally like... They're totally automatons. No, they, right, they feel like automatons right. and they're being led by... Um, you know, each one, each group, uh, unit is being led by like a, a gnome with one of those rods. Can I kind of tell how many per rod? How many crystal born uh, per unit? It's about, about 200. Wow. Mm. There's a lot of these rods. Yeah. Huh. We need to find out if there's some sort of central control as well. I mean, tell me each one well, of these officers. When we bring the food back, maybe we can get some more information on right. that stuff. Well, here we are at Steel Magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he walks up and they have, they have all the food there. They're, they're like, oh, hello, uh, just about to deliver it. Oh, no problem. Great, great. We'll bring it. Let's help you. Yes. How, or, you know, how much is there? Probably uh, a lot. A qu- quite a lot, yes. We, we, have, all right. we, we have all the people we need. Uh, well, but great, we'll go let's back go. With you. All right, we go back. Okay. You're waiting anxiously. You guys make your way back. You head in, and you see him there. He's got his feet up, <laughs> and he's just like, "Finally, set it up." Set it all up very nicely. He starts eating it for him. Good. He yeah. eats eats like half of, of the wing of a of chicken wing and throws it to the side. <laughs> half another he's one. The <laughs> he's the worst. He's the worst. He licks one. <laughs> he eats like a quarter of another one. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's not bad. And he starts going through everything. <laughs> I was just, we noticed a lot of your those crystal born marching through the city. So organized. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. Very organized. But I mean, those rods allow them to control. But is there any sort of central way to control them? I mean, each commander with a rod only seems to control a couple of hundred. The rods are just enforcers. That's all they are. It, they, it works perfectly by themselves, just in case. What's this? Hmm. I mean, they. Right, that... What are you saying? If the rod were to break, then the crystal born would... No, I'm fine. fine. What so if one of you... Can't get scattered? Don't worry. What if someone else should get their hands on one of these rods? So would they be able to control these crystal born? Uh, maybe a few of them. A few? Hmm, Don't worry. Cool. I have it all under wraps. So let's just say I have the secret to the success. So let's just, let's just eat. I think regarding the upcoming battle, best to meet them in the open field, no doubt. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. Well. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I am a great commander. Right, exactly. When these, I see the army, I will instantly know how to fight them. These crystal born lack the cunning of mortals. Yes, that's why they have a cunning of amazing, amazing gnomish genius. So we'll want to be in the open field where that could be better utilized. Why not just... would I go into an open field when I have walls? <clears throat> well, I think Tell was... me why I would leave a fortress and fight them in the field. There's a fortress. They're in the field. I think That's we... why you probably lose all your battles. Why would you go out there? Just He's city. trying to keep the, the battle away from the innocent people of Sunken City, right? Is that what you're trying to say, Arky? No. That, that you wouldn't want, you know, bloodshed. That would in... be great. But no, what I'm really saying is these machines, whatever they are, they'll come bashing against the walls. They'll bash right through. We want to get out of the open field where we can use maneuver and trickery to confuse them. <laughs> i tell you what. You stick to the, to the building things, and I'll stick to the winning things. All right. As you say. My. Wow. <laughs> Just keeps eating. 
Okay, time passes. We're going to go over to um, to our good friend over here, Relic. Uh, oh. Relic, you are marching your army in. How many do you have right now? I know you lost quite a bit, but you gained quite a bit. It's uh, like 40, 4,200, I think it was. Maybe a little less. You don't less. have an exact number? No, Rob was keeping tally. It's not on your sheet, Rob then. Was, I don't Rob think you have anybody. Tally. Right? Isn't that, isn't that how we play this game? It's not written down <laughs> on your sheet, so you don't have it. 4,000? Plus whatever was... If, if, if you if you don't have it, it and we find out a higher number, you just lost the middle. Yeah. You are a terrible commander. You can't write no, down. Okay. Four thousand was what was left after the battle. Yeah, there you go. Like, that's it. was like two hundred that went nah, in. That was so. it. That was it. Because it was it went down literally down to like almost one on one to like it's for it is it's forty two hundred. It's forty two hundred. And then you found yeah like after yeah. battle you got two hundred more. Yeah, because then something. we had a discussion afterwards that it was like forty two hundred and two because it's me and. <laughs> All right. Well, you should probably keep track of these things. I did. I knew. Oh what yeah. It was. Where is it? I knew. It, I knew exactly what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you need it's to not write written down. down uh, yeah. All right. Well, you know, exactly you, what it was when you I didn't have an answer. On the air. Yeah, you didn't have, when he asked you the first time, you had no number, answer. You're like, oh, number, I don't know. Maybe it's just my much. number was right. Uh, my guess okay. was right. All right. <laughs> my, guess my guess was right. My guess, guess was right. Guess I knew was right. Exactly. <laughs> so you're still admitting that you didn't have a number in your head. Okay. Okay, so uh, you are marching towards the sunken city. Uh, the sunken city looks the same as uh, you've heard about it. Um, <laughs> you've never seen it before, and uh, it's uh, pretty much what you expected. You uh, bring your army uh, somewhat close up to it, within, say, a quarter mile, and um, Rono comes up to your side. What shall we do here? <laughs> what is our goal? I do not wish to start a war with the sunken city like we have with the Red Knight. I wish to speak to the gnomes. So, you will go speak to them, I will go with you. Or maybe I stay, make sure they are okay. We should send a messenger, just in case. Send a small party. With a request to speak with the head of the sunken city. Okay. Dan, give me the name of a crystal born that has named itself. Name itself. Riot. <laughs> okay. Let us said Riot. With three other crystal board. Riot, you will go to the sunken city and you will tell them that the great relic, first of our kind, would like to speak with them. That's you, Dan. Hello, Riot. Oh. He knocks on, he knocks on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in there? <laughs> I, I am here. I am Riot. Awfully quiet for a riot. That's what they call me. Quiet riot. <laughs> <laughs> so get going. Very well. <laughs> I okay. will serve you well, Relic. Okay, Riot makes his way towards the uh, everything else. <laughs> we and Rona just watch and wonder if this was a good idea. He didn't pick a fast one, did he? <laughs> You walk up to the walls, and you're hearing, uh, Sir, he goes, there seems to be someone uh, at the walls. It's, it's, it's Relic's armies. It, it looks like it's here, that guy. And uh, there's like a few thousand of those uh, crystal born outside. And it looks like there's a small there's a small group that want to come in and, 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 and talk or something. Ah, they've come to treat with us. Let us see what they want. I go. Yes, let's up. see what they want. Okay, you guys go walk. You walk to the, do you want to meet at the doors, or do you want to go at the top of the wall? Meet them at the doors. Okay. So the doors open? Yes. Open the doors. I don't know why we're opening the doors. It's a show of strength. That's no, boss. it's a show of idiocy. <laughs> he walks out. Uh, quite right. <laughs> right. Quite right. Right, you walk up and you are there in front of um, Jinti. You don't know who they are, but Jinti, Botorius, Arky, and an obvious king gnome, Bellman. Roleplay. Weak creatures. What? I speak to you in the name of the great relic, the Crystal Ball. 
Welcome, uh, sir. Weak creatures. He's probably new at this. Don't worry. <laughs> You're weak of the brain. I am Orky Fint, governor of the sunken city. What does your master have to say? Orky, governor, I speak to you. I am the king. I am King Bellamin. King. Well, I speak well now. To you as well. <laughs> You're not the king here, though. You He's... work for the Red Knight. I have to make sure this deal goes down correctly. No, I un I know what you mean, but they said they wanted to talk to the. It sounds like he wants to talk to the head of the sunken city. Yeah? We wouldn't. This, dip... this is diplomacy. You're doing great. So, what do you have to say? What are your offer? Yeah, what are your offer? <laughs> <laughs> He's a great diplomacy man. What are your offer? I have come here to collect the crystal born uh, in the no. name of King Relic. No! Turn around, walk back to your <laughs> stupid master, and tell him <laughs> no! <laughs> well, you do not make a very smart decision. I make a very smart decision, <laughs> you Italian tin can! Now turn around and go tell him what I said! Uh. <laughs> what does that gesture mean? This isn't what you were sent to do. <laughs> we will claim all of the crystal born, or we will. Man, he's really going off book on this one. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! You're gonna claim them? You would want army? That? That's nothing. What are you gonna do? You're gonna throw rocks at the walls? Belmont, perhaps it'd be better if. I go and speak to Relic, because this guy, Riot, seems just not, we're not getting anywhere. It might be. Dangerous. I think we need to send a message. Give me that. Oh, it, takes, it takes a flamethrower. No! He goes, tell him this! Oh, no. He roasts a Riot. <laughs> you take a tremendous amount of damage, <laughs> and <laughs> Riot falls <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> Wait, Crystal Board can take fire damage? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lots boy. of it. Okay. <laughs> They're very good versus physical damage. Fire and arcane. Not so good. Oh, sorry, Ben. I go. So much uh, for relaying my message. Thanks. <laughs> Dan, play. Dan, play. Uh, actually, let's let's top to it. Tom, play one of the other guys. Um, I attack the guy who just attacked uh, Riot. Okay, so you start running up. The other, the other, the he turns around, fires a flamethrower. The other one flies a flamethrower. You guys go down pretty easily. You're the you're the bottom of the bunch. Yeah. So we roast them all. They all four not fall out to the to the to the floor. They're dealing with the elite guards and Bellamon, who's got it's got the most powerful weapon. And that's how you do diplomacy. Let's go. Shut the walls. Shut the walls. Shut the walls. Doors. <laughs> Bellamon. <laughs> so that's it. We let me go out and talk to them. I mean. They're so outnumbered, <laughs> they won't dare attack. Why even bother? Just go ahead, go, go. All right, let's go. Good idea. Why don't you Wait, go with him? You want me? You, really? I, I don't think you don't want a good go? idea. I don't think it's a good it's idea. It's a great idea. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his stupid face. Look, he's like such a great diplomacy. Arky, go do diplomacy. No, I can't let you go out there. He can't let you because he's, he, not. he's in charge of you. I didn't realize that he was in I, charge. It's, <laughs> listen, should buddy, I be talking to him the whole time? Maybe the food would have came quicker. Why are you intentionally advise, trying to goad me, Bellon? I advise <laughs> strongly against it. I I really don't think you should go out there, man. I don't think it's a good idea. But we haven't Actually, had our I we know Pauline yet. I know, but don't you, do you see like the situation? I mean, we also haven't flambéed yet, and perhaps we would have if the food came sooner. He walks aside. <laughs> I feel like the opportunity for that may have. Perhaps I maybe I I'm just saying it's dangerous. You what if you go out there and they just decide to you know? What if they hold me responsible for this? Well, they <laughs> might, and that's why if you walk out there, it might be dangerous for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. <laughs> how dangerous of a situation? You're gonna walk out there. He's got what? How many thousand? A couple thousand guys. Out there? You know, it's just you and me if I go with you. He's but still, the back. two less, of us, less, I don't think it's a good idea. Last I checked, you were you were like some big heroes and stuff. And you know what? 
you're now right. You're, now well, remember the last time we've we talked to this our, guy before. I know. Remember the yeah. Remember how that went. What? What? Fine. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not going out there. End of story. So, okay. I'm sorry. You're gonna let them attack the city? No, Walls. No. Listen, I'll give my life defending this city. Okay. All right. I'll but I'm not gonna just walk out there. One against thousands. Uh, you know, it just it's, it doesn't seem smart to me. I'll do it. Whoosh. I take off. Oh, Marky. <laughs> Friend, there he goes. Didn't take much. <laughs> you fly off. What do you do? You let him go alone, alone, or do you stay? I'm staying. I said I was staying. I gave him every opportunity not to. I'm staying. I'm not going out there. Okay, and just just be clear. You will not have any visual sight. So if something goes wrong, you will not have sight of it. That's it. Can I go up on the walls and try to watch him? Not really. It's far away. They're a quarter mile away, and they're not like they just a distance. Yeah. Um, it's one of the decisions that you right. just make sure you make the one you want to do. Right. I understand. Um, all right. I'm, can I... Can I... Can I take a small party and like kind of follow? Yeah, what do you want to take? Uh, I don't know who I got. I got some guards, right? I've got the guards in the town. I've been guards. training, yeah. training and stuff. All right, let me grab like half dozen six guards. Yeah. Okay. Take and, six guards. Uh, we're gonna go and, and try to keep an eye out now for him. Can okay. I be the guy who yells, you'll die before you get the first marker? <laughs> <laughs> Very I'll nice. see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Your top time will freeze before you get to the first marker. Uh, so you go out with six guards, six people you feel like had the, the best pizzazz. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> 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 you can serve a pizzazz. <laughs> I think you're all hands guard. <laughs> <laughs> the jazz hands guard? You walk in, uh, you walk out and go there. <laughs> you see him, he goes, everyone, man the walls, arm the cannons. If they attack here, blast them off the planet. I'm going to Smithy's. Come get me if you need me. <laughs> you guys, you guys um, head to Relic, time passes. Your guards don't come back. You're standing there in Roto, and all of a sudden you see uh, in the sky, one crystal one coming in. You're confused at first because you know that none, none of them had that capability. Well, I've seen I've seen his suit before. Right, right, and yeah. then okay, and then, oh, you, gotcha, and gotcha. then you life happens in order, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> and, then, and then he comes down and you realize it's Arky. He lands <clears> on <throat> the ground. In the far distance, you see there's a small group of, of soldiers coming at you too, uh, as well. Not big, like a small party. Uh, <sighs> he lands. Role play. Relic, we meet again. Stand back. I am Arky Fit. <laughs> I had no idea what you were, who you were for a second. I was like, what the hell are you told him? His face. I want a poster of that face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that's, that's what you just spent Who's back. this guy? <laughs> <laughs> we have met previously. You'll no doubt remember the site of the crash. Not we, but a few days past. We have. And I am glad to now have gotten your name. Oh. Well, I have uh, some distress, distressing news. The initial meeting, diplomatic parlay, has gone terribly. What do you mean? Bellamon, the mad king of Rhaegar, has murdered your emissaries. That is troubling. Does he now rule Silken City? I fear he does. He's landed with an army of Crystalborn, commanded by a green gem implanted in their head. And the Emerald controls them? Apparently they have a rod been given to all of his commanders and uh, they have full control of them. They seem to be act simply as machines, demonstrating no free will, or at least not the capacity to exercise it. Know this. I do not wish to harm the sunken city, but I will be playing my people if I must. Yes, but he has a force that outnumbers yours. At least ten to one. 
Do you wish... Do you wish for my kind to be free of your city? Yes. I would like for your kind to be freed and allowed to live their destiny as they choose. Andrew... Andrew Barris goes, Arky is a tattletale. Oh my god, Seriously? I can't believe it. <laughs> but, I, I, there's tattletale. Like, I, 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 just no one knows what's going on inside the brain. That's what it is. So, I love you, it. You zig when we think you're zagging. Yeah. I guess that's where we're at right now. <laughs> and what of Bellum? Do you wish to be free of him? Well, the Thunken City is not under Bellum. He just showed up today and starts barking orders around. We once actually were under the overlordship of Rhaegar. Uh, but, uh, yeah. not anymore. But he has some deal with the Red Knight, as you know, to enslave your people, and... But know this. The Red Knight, we defeated his forces at the Red City. I have freed my people from his clutches, and I will do so the same from Bellarmine. So you can either help me or you can stand against me. What will you do if we can get your people free from Belmont? What are your plans? Once my people are free, I will find a place for them. It will not be here in the Sunken City. The only way to free your people is going to get be able to get our hands on those rods and control them. Or. You can bring me Bellum. Maybe. It will, will not be easy. He's uh, well guarded. And, but. Yes. That might be the easiest way, though. Votorius walks up with his uh, six soldiers at, at this time. Miltorius, you remember Relic? Hello? Good to see you. We were simply discussing how best to avoid the destruction of the Sunken City. That's excellent. <clears throat> As I've told your friend Donkey here, I do not wish to fight the Sunken City. But if my people are not reclaimed, I will take them. Yes, he's not nearly as... Anxious to get out blood on his hands as Bellamon seems to be. Well, it's uh, good to hear. Um, so I assume he filled you in on the current status of all these uh, troops in the city? <clears throat> he has. So, Bellamon's in control of them. So. Well, we were just discussing that uh, as you came up. I mean, the only way we can figure it is either we would all think it's best if just all the Crystal Bone were to leave the Sunken City and there'd be no giant battle. If somehow we could get our hands on all those rods or or if Bellamon were to be turned over to Relic, then they could perhaps mm. negotiate a, a Would you deal. be open to speaking to him? <clears throat> well, Yes, he would. I but would I don't think definitely be open to speaking to Bellum. It would have to be under certain conditions, I think though. Not like a meeting type uh discussion. Okay. Well we would have to deliver Bellamon to him. Deliver? Like a prisoner? Like a crystal born suit. Oh boy. Well, I... It's it's hard to get Belmont to do anything that we want him to do. I, I look around at the guards that are with them. Um, are they gnomes? Are they dwarves? What are they? Um, Downs yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Could be... <coughs> no, you were training troops such like that a lot. Okay, at least half of them are okay. gnomes. Are these guards Belmont? No. No. They are yours? He's a loyal sunken city man. They're not here for a fight. Just for... Arky's protection. Look, Bellamon's never going to agree to this conversation, you understand? We just have to make him appear. So... That's... So we're that's gonna your need plan? Him. Well, where... Yes, that's my plan, I think. What do you say? I... 
You're the one in charge of the city. Well then. I'm just trying to help. So you... Uh, that's just what I wanted to hear. So just... <laughs> <laughs> Think about the specifics, I'm saying. The specifics yeah. of the plan. That's where you come in. Oh, really? Potentially. Um, All right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold this uh, amazing uh, plan right here. <laughs> can't believe you wrote me into this. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. So amazing. <laughs> we're gonna go up to Abyssia, <sighs> guys. Right now, uh, all donations go to go to uh, research for pancreatic cancer to Pank One. Uh, we had uh, Michelle, the CEO and president of Pank One, on before, on earlier. Uh, so please, uh, if you haven't done so already, or donate, or if you're able to donate, donate anything extra, and uh, you want to help out, uh, we appreciate it. you donating on all of our platforms. We are tracking right now here on Facebook, but you can donate on Twitch and YouTube as well. And uh, we're hoping to raise 200,000 stars, which is $2,000 for our research today. And uh, some of the crew members have given it today as well. A lot of the fans have been so generous. So we're so happy and thankful to those who have donated. And uh, we're asking you to keep going. Let's keep pushing right now. We are at 50 five thousand stars which is awesome uh so that's wonderful and uh we would love we're trying to get to a hundred thousand right now let's see if you can push it up and uh we appreciate it guys what i'm gonna do right now is i'm going to i have an announcement about power um does anybody have an advantage power reroll i do have one i have one does anybody have a power reroll oh, i'm sorry i have one power reroll i have one Not of those as well power. I have an advantage power reroll. And you've been storing those up, huh? I have been. So here's what's going to happen. Advantage power rerolls. Oh, wait, I've won one. Sorry. So, so people, uh, advantage power rerolls are very are, are pretty high, and they haven't been um, they haven't been given by the by the fans to, to uh, the players. So I'm going to remove it out of the the choices. So for right now, I'm going to give advantage power rerolls are going to be 1,000 stars to donate to these players. And they are never going to be able to be donated again. Wow. This is the last time to be donated. I'm taking Whoa. them off the show. So when you have in your character, wow. it is, you will have the last one. They're a dying commodity. <laughs> okay? Oh, man. So, now okay. I'm never going to use it. So I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is 10.06. Somebody better give me another one so I can use at least one. <laughs> so, he, so right now they're half off. They're 50% off. They are 1,000 stars for an advantage power reroll. And you have wow. until – it is 10.06. You have until 10.06. 10. We're four a, minutes ooh, to donate, sale, and then folks. they are gone forever. Four minutes. Oh, that, my God. This is what you call wow. a fire sale. Everything there's must a, go. This is a fire sale, and they're, they're, they're never coming back. Oh, so my God. So there's your chance to give them out right crazy. now at half price, this and then that is it. Okay. Um, we now go to the above world. You are still in your ethereal form. We last left off. You were watching your, your mother perform. Uh, she said some kind words about you and everyone of the, the town kind of came up to you and wished you well and t told you how happy that you were here and things they knew about you and, you know, things something like that. Uh, but a lot of love and very friendly and um, everything that you would hope hope for this culture to be. Uh, once again, these are on the rocks that are like like kind of like floating terrar terrariums in a sense. Um, above the planet, your sky is the stars, and your below is the sky. <laughs> um, so your mother's just finished talking to you, and she's talking to somebody else. You're kind of just kind of just walking around. And uh, one thousand stars, for Nick Lurkins. Here's one for Vin. Thanks for dancing. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, that was nice. nice. Very nice. Um, That's cool. So you kind of just uh, walking around, and um, you see a woman come up to you, and she looks uh, looks to be a bit older. My child, she puts her arm, her arm uh, like on your back. She says, I am Silva. I am the elder here. I am so proud to be in your presence, a knight of Andar. I have recently spoken with Andar during my prayers, and he has a mission for you. He wishes for you to ascend the steps and speak with him. I will go with you. Thank you. Okay. They walk up the stairs. Um, the stairs are made of like stone, and they join these two uh, pieces of, of like, floating land together. Uh, you walk up, and you see there's, there's uh, all sorts of symbols put into the ground, um, and basically there's two like obelisks to the side, 
and then in front of you is basically the the sun, which is Andar. Relax. Do not focus. Let Andar's presence be within you. Do I close my eyes or? Whatever you wish. Okay. So you do so? Yes. Night of Andar. You will descend into the core of Andaria and into the crystal of Dragano. You will stay as long as you can and as long as you can withstand. See what you can see and learn what you can learn about our dark adversary. You will then return and do not engage. You shall be my eyes. Could you hear him? I can. Can I speak with him or am I just like hearing him? It seems to be over. Okay. Oh. You do not need to share me the mission. You only need to do as he instructs, if you wish. It is your, still your choice. I wish to help. So, it, it will be my choice. Yes. I wish you luck on whatever journey is in front of you. Turn to us when you are done. Where, where is us? Where is this? What is it called? All will be revealed in time. How will I know when to come back? I just think of your mother. <sighs> How do I get there? How? Just imagine the place you want to go. It is as simple as that. You have been in the Eagle Realm before. It operates the same. Okay. Okay. I wish you luck. Thank you, Selva. Here we do. Close my eyes. to my mom first. Okay. And I tell her... Hello, my dear. Hi, mom. Mm. I have to go on a mission. Of course. And I'm frightened. I'm so proud of you. You've done so many, so many things. And you will do this. Thank you. I will. see you again. Great. I look forward to it. Okay. I hug her. Very she hugs you back? Ethereally, tightly. And, um, I step away from her, because I don't want to hurt her in any way or bring her any kind of dragon -ness. Okay. And I imagine the worst possible environment imaginable. I imagine what it is to be inside of Dragano. Okay, you start you're focusing on Dragano, like the core. Yes. And you leave. And you're seeing everything in like hyperspace speed. And you're, you're going down to the planet like a, like a meteor. And you see the tree. You go through the tree. You're going through your ethereal, going through the entire planet. All of a sudden, you go into the dark through the ground again, you feel the gravity, it, sh it doesn't affect you, but you feel the gravity affecting and changing all around you, and all of a sudden you can feel the heat 
to some degree around you. You're in the center of the core of the planet, a place that you've been before. And uh, you're flying right into the center where is the giant crystal, rotating crystal. That is the, the, the core that you're kind of reconnected with in the center of the planet. You go inside. <laughs> and everything goes quiet. All of a sudden, everything goes purple. And, and then into clouds. And then a forest. And then a house. And the house looks to be abandoned. I'm ethereal here, still. As you look at yourself, you see that you're not ethereal. You have a body. As you know it. All of a sudden, you see the house. And then you look around, and all of a sudden you're standing in front of the house. I'm not sure what's happening. What do you want to do? I walk around. Can I walk around the house? Do yeah. I, is the house familiar, familiar to me? No. I don't no. recognize it. No. But the forest is, actually. The forest seems like a shadowed version of the Eagle Realm. Okay. Like a, a specific area of the Eagle Realm, or that I'm. Um... No. Okay. Just, the, Just the type you recognize of the forest. Yeah. Okay. One thousand stars from Steve Keeley. Power oh. reroll for Damien. All right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's an advantage power reroll. Now awesome. you can save it always. <laughs> <laughs> Nice yeah, it'll, go so go with the, it'll go with the coin. Another moment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have the coin? No. No, you spent it. You used it. Yeah, right? used it. Okay, I'm forgetting. Uh, someone's asking if the rerolls of 500 stars. Yes, regular rerolls of 500 stars right now. It's 1016. I'll let it go a little longer if somebody wants, wants to donate because it's all for charity. We'd rather have the donation. Um, 500 stars is a reroll, but 1,000 stars is an advantage power reroll, which means that Woo. you can reroll. You roll twice, take the highest, and add two. It's so powerful. It it's almost like an almost immediate success. So I'll, I'll let it open for the next few minutes. Thank you for the donation. Um, you walk around the house? I walk around the house. Again, the, the, the forest seems familiar. And the house doesn't. You walk around the house, and the woods just feel dark and haunted. The woods feel dark and haunted. Yeah. What does the house feel like? I mean, aside from being abandoned. Uh, lonely. Is there a door? Like, uh, accessible? Where I can go in, mm -hmm. or...? Yep, you make your way back to the front, the door is actually slightly open. A jar. <laughs> okay. I look around, I make sure there's no one else around. Is there anyone else around, or anything? Uh, not that you see. Okay. You hear a young voice yell out, like a very a small person, young voice. What do they say? Like they're terrified. Get away! Is that coming from within the house? Yes. That's a good sign. Within the house. <laughs> it's coming from it's coming the from house. Inside the if house. If you've ever watched any <laughs> horror movie, just go back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a shower, okay? It's a lovely house. Too bad we can't stay. <laughs> Damn it. Reroll for Fancy Nancy from the few remaining funds of Hedge Delta. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Give re Dan gave a reroll to uh, to Nancy. Awesome. Oh, awesome. that's awesome. That was nice. Um, guys, please donate. All donations go to Pancreatic Research for charity, to Pank One, guys. Uh, we're doing it all day. And right now, we're trying to reach 100,000. We're up to 66,000. We're doing pretty good. We're trying to reach 200,000 ultimately, but we're trying to reach 100,000 soon. Hopefully, we can make it. Please, please, please keep donating. We appreciate it. So, I call out to the voice um, Who are you? Do you need help? You don't hear any, any response from the voice. All of a sudden, from behind you, you hear footsteps, and you see 
the biggest wolf you have ever seen in your life. It looks to be about 20 feet if it was standing tall. And it's behind you, all black and like bits of gray. And it looks like it's been mangled and just walks up. Stand aside. From this home. He just keeps walking towards you. In an instance when he does that, you remember the words that Andar said to you. Or maybe you don't. What, of the mission? Yeah, or the last words he said. It's your choice, but I'm just reminding you of the words, because in, in game, it we just did a whole charity uh, call out, but in right. game, it would have been a few seconds ago, the okay. last words he said to you was, do not engage. Right. So, so you do what you want, but I want you to rem at least remember. Okay. So the wolf just starts walking closer and closer. I step Stand aside. aside. I step aside. He, he, he walks, he's walking past you and just swings his, his head into you. I'm a bit hungry. Want to watch. <laughs> and he like, like storms inside. He's much bigger than a door and breaks the door in and goes in. And you hear the kid, or whatever it is, call out. Ah! I say to myself, remember where you are. Remember the mission. Remember the mission. Remember where you are. Usa. <laughs> yeah. It's taking a lot for me to not want to engage with this wolf. Okay. So the you can hear wherever the kid is, he's not that far away from the door, and he's bashed into into the door and he's uh gone up the steps and you see him hear him break down the walls and you can actually see that he's probably like one window up and one window over and something's happening in there. I see that the kid is? Something's in that room. You can't see it from here, but if you walk inside, you can see it. Oh, well. So you can not get involved. You can, just, you can just watch. You can try to interfere. You can not enter the house. You can do anything that you want to do. Can I fly up and <coughs> yes. look into the window? I fly up and look, watch into the window. You fly up, you fly up near the window, mm -hmm. and you look inside, mm -hmm. and you see it's a bedroom, mm -hmm. and it looks to be like a child's bedroom. And you see there are all little toys around the room. Mm -hmm. And you see there's a small child by the window, <sighs> huddled up, scared. And you see the humongous dark wolf <laughs> breaks the, the hinges off the doors, breaks the doorway, and just fits in and looms over the child. Clouds in the air move a little bit, and some bit of light hits the child's face. And you realize you're looking at the young version of Thistle, crouched by the window. I am hungry, young halfling. May I eat you? No! Help! Help! I, no, I guess crawl into a corner. <laughs> Just so you know, this is not an illusion. This is happening. Okay. It's all real, and it all matters. Okay. I fly by the window. He gnarls his teeth. <sighs> and I tell him, jump! Thistle, jump! <laughs> I have wings. He sees that I have wings. The, I tell the him glass is The glass is closed. You're a younger version of yourself, and the wolf is pretty much over you. You don't. You, you could try to jump, but it'd be hard to get around him. Only thing he would do is probably try to just like jump through the window if he could. Yes. Okay. Make a d20 roll. I stand right outside the window. A twelve. <laughs> Everyone's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is horrible. Oh, and he goes torture Brooke time. Nancy's like, why did why do this to Brooke? Because it's Wednesday. <laughs> Guys, Brooke has been having it easy. She's like in heaven, you know, eating grapes. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mom. What's up, Mom? Oh, hi. Who are you? Pretty lovely, other pretty lady. Oh, hello. Oh, what? You're going to sing a song to me? Oh, sing a song to me. I'm so mean to Brooke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you notice 
How he uses the one guy at the table that doesn't care if the character that he played gets eaten or not. <laughs> but everyone else But he cares. knows that I do. <laughs> everyone else cares. But he doesn't care about anything in life. Right. <laughs> no, was, Anyone that's no, your friend knows that. Yeah, well. <laughs> Except for I Besides see. the miniatures. I see. <laughs> miniatures and 4C. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, here's where right now. If you can do... If you donate... If you donate... Oh wait! To, to get, get, get up to five thousand stars uh, donation right now within the next few minutes, and I will level up your character to current day level <gasps> instead of being a child version of yourself. Wait, and do we get a plus two? Because you have a plus two 50, now. 000. Okay, yeah, you do. so you get a plus two. You do. So you have a fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, and then we're okay, do so that. you you dive through the glass. You get cut up pretty bad, but you you jump out the window. I catch. Do him. you catch him? I do. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. When Did I say don't, but I'm not engaging <laughs> with the wolf. I'm. So do you make physical contact? He didn't and catch say him. don't participate. He when said don't ground, engage. When I hit the ground, he hits the ground. <laughs> don't, I catch him. Don't help the wolf. Eat him. I catch him. You, you catch him. I catch thistle. <sighs> you go down and catch thistle. Mm hmm And when you do, the wolf looks at you. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> but I didn't engage. I'm. Ca I didn't get into a fight with him. I didn't know that angels were on the menu. We're not. <sighs> he leaps out the window, and we're in like a slow motion where he's in the air, like going to pounce on you. His mouth is opening up, and you realize his mouth is opening up bigger than your whole body. As he's doing that, I think of my mom. While I'm holding Thistle, I think of my mom. You think you're your mom? Mm-hmm. He's in the air. I call my mom. It's call, uh, calling over, and you feel yourself pulling yourself out. Mom. And you see Thistle being left behind. <sighs> you see yourself going up, and you see, th you see Thistle on the floor, and you see the wolf just going right on top Yoink. of them. And then you're out of there. <sighs> you go flying back up into the sky. And you know what happens next? We go to Dan. <sighs> Oh that, boy, that, that was short-lived. Oh, man, <laughs> that was wow. And remember, remember the name of the uh, the rabbit. The rabbit. Oh man, hundred experience points. You, you, you remember the name of the rabbit? Hopkins. Oh. What was his name? Hopkins. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't, was don't it. think that was it. That's perfect. <laughs> well, it certainly should it. be. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand, one thousand, was... not big enough. It did not. It was not enough to get to make. Oh, well, we, uh, oh, oh. that does change things if you get enough. I need fifteen hundred no, more. No. This short. Dead. <laughs> fifteen hundred more. And but it's Brooks' fault. Fifteen hundred more. If you go back to Thistle, he'll, he'll be in his normal state. There you go. I'll give you a 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18. Tom I, just put it in. I had, I had a bank that I wanted to donate tonight. Wow. Okay, Tom just saved the day. 2,000 stars. And that is where, now we know where that, where that story is. Um, very interesting. Wow. I have no idea where that's going. <laughs> Me either. Woo! But I want to find out. Yay! <laughs> Guys, what was the name of Bugs? That wasn't Bugs. It wasn't Bugs Bunny. It, it was something. It was something like what Rob said. It had something to do with like hopping or like no. hopper or Hopplington. No. No. Uh, I thought it was like because he was all nervous. I thought it was like a nervousy kind of a name. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, so um, Holgar, you being you being brought through the uh, the 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 forest hold, which is in uh, the not the lion's realm, and you're being guided by two uh, beastborn, which are both. Um, part elephant. They're huge, and they're they're bringing you. They're the, they're the biggest you've ever seen. Um, you see other elephants actually in the distance. No one is as big as these two, and these are standing around around 15 feet high, and they're just bringing you through the city. You can role play if you wish. So, <laughs> where exactly are you taking me today? We are taking you to the dungeon. Yes, he's going to the dungeon. I told you I, I pose no threat to the lion's realm. I'm a hero of Andaria. It is not up to us. Well then, who is it up to? 
You're going to be up to the archangel. The, the archangel. All of a sudden, an old wise kobold. No. <laughs> an old wise <laughs> owl flutters down to the street. <laughs> Audio dungeon. <laughs> Where are you taking this crystal born? Standing in front of you is uh, an owl, beast born, about four feet tall. One of the elephants speaks. He is being brought to the dungeon, wise Alderon. Ald Ald Aldorin, wise Aldorin. Until his true identity can be determined. The owl who stands about four feet walks over near you. He walks near your feet, Hogar. And he begins to move his hand over something in the air, somewhat near your feet. Repeatedly. He looks up to you with a smile. He, he is Hogar. The elephants look at each other. It feels like a joke. <laughs> the elephants look at each other. Would you make a pact on this? Yes. You can leave him with me. They look at each other. Yes, why, why is Aldorin? They walk off. Come. Come, Hogar. Follow. Thank you. Aldoran, is it? Aldorin. Aldorin. Yes. Although I called here wise Aldorin, and one day I'll be Aldorin the wise. <laughs> well, thank you very much for saving me from your dungeons. Of course, of course. Not my dungeons. I just have some, some sway here. I will come with you. I'm very happy to answer any questions that you have for me. No questions. Just come. He okay. takes you. He takes you through the forest. You can role play. He's kind of quiet. He uh, kind of climbs up one of the trees. He's pretty old, and he gets into a tree. He sees. He seems to be more comfortable gliding from one tree to the next. Dan, you should see him get your dungeon ticket I, pick. Can I follow him as he's gliding from one tree <laughs> to the next? Yeah, he's not going that fast. Okay. Um. In his past life, Hogar was a tree strider, so he could travel across trees. Does does he still have that now, or is that not applicable? <laughs> you, you, you feel like you want to do it, and you realize that your body just won't do what your mind knows how to do. Okay. I would like to watch that happen. Maybe a banyan <laughs> trees, you know, like... He got, you down, he got you down a path into the forest. Uh, thought to yourself uh, is, finally, finally, this is a real forest, not the weird, floral, really a jungle that you saw when you first arrived. But this forest feels kind of different. Uh, Strong, mysterious, yet very friendly. Large trees. Trees with great girth. This is definitely a forest a ranger would appreciate. You can roleplay. Or you could say nothing. Uh, we have, pow we have uh, power rerolls being sent to us right now. Let's see who, who it's coming for. Uh... We have four power rolls coming in from Derek Luxton. Uh, who are they going for, though? 2,000 uh, William Bowers. One advanced power reroll for Rob. Okay. Yeah. One for Tom. Yeah. Woohoo. Uh, we have a power reroll for Dan. There. Ah. Nice. Oh, Derek Luxton was giving the power rolls to everybody, so everyone can take a power reroll power re for that. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Thank you, D. Um and one thousand stars from Todd. Power reroll for whoever rolls the highest. Everybody roll right oh. now. Ooh. Dan, roll at home. No. Three. One. Eight. Eleven. Eight. Ah, five. <laughs> Twenty. 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 Oh. <laughs> and that one on. Are you happy, Todd? See what you did. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Look what you did. You little jerk. You little jerk. Another one who rolls who rolls the lowest. Roll again, guys. Three. Two. Three. Eight. Ah. Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one? Nine. Two. It goes to Brooke. 
You're the one last time. Damn it. Yay! Thank you, Todd. Guys, keep donating. We're at 71,000 stars. Keep wow. donating. We're almost there, guys. That's a regular power reroll? The, yeah, the one from No, it's Derek. an advanced power oh. reroll. Even the ones from Derek, you said? Yeah, yes. they're all advanced they're power rerolls. Wow. Okay. Wow, yeah. all right. And that's it, guys. Advantage power rerolls are off the menu. That is it. They're, <laughs> they're never be given out again. Damien wow. will never, never relinquish it. <laughs> no, I'm it's going to be inscribed I'm... on his grave. Sweet. I still have two power rerolls left. I'm going to tell you something. When, when, the, when the chips are down and it's the season Ooh. finale, you'll see me use one of these. One more came for Rob. One more power reroll for Rob. Congratulations, Ooh. Rob. Thank Thank you. You. Where's it from? Where's it from? Um, I, don't, I don't see Steve. I, I know. The, I know the key now. Oh, we need it's, fr it's from T O Double D. Ah. We need to just get ourselves in Save really bad fan, situations, no and then and then we'll get these power rerolls. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rabbit's name is Flinster. Is that is that really what it is? Yes. Oh, that yeah. sounds right. That was it. That sounds yeah. right. That was one hundred percent it. Because I told you it was like a twitchy kind of a. <laughs> I, it's now he, now he says it. I remember because I had a a friend who had a character that named in a game. Flinster. Flinster. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so uh, you you guys are traveling along. Dan, go ahead, roleplay, if you wish. Um, Eldoran, how, yes. how long have you been here in the Lion's Realm? Mm, I have been here for 50 more years. 50? Yes. Who, who rules over the Lion's Realm? Who? Yes. <laughs> I caught it, Tony. Who? <laughs> 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 oh, man. The, the archangel, Whoa. the farmer, he rules <laughs> instead. <gasps> That's right. The farmer? Yes. <laughs> the farmer? Yes. The farmer. Well... When did the farmer come here? After the war, of course. Is the farmer aware of everything that's been happening all around Andaria? For certain. The farmer has great... great and many responsibilities now. Mm. What was his response when he saw the sky change color? He is alarmed. He's alarmed for his family. And he's alarmed for all beastborn kind. And now he protects us. <clears throat> Are you taking me to him? No. I, w I would very much like to speak with him. I fought with him as I fought with the lion. We can stop at his home, if you wish. I would like that. Well, where are you taking me? First to my house. I haven't had a company in a long time. Okay, and <laughs> what will we be doing at your house? Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? Who? Who what? My house? Yeah. It's down the path, a little bit into the forest, behind the great rock, underneath the red tree. Great rock, red tree, okay. Well, what will we be doing at your house? Oh, stop asking so many questions. Well, I'm, I'm a stranger in town. <clears throat> it's a new place. I'm meeting very many new people. Ah, oh, yes. Ask questions about those things, but you worry about the future. Yes, I, I do. There are more important questions you should be asking. <clears throat> but you ask none of those. Very what, interesting. What questions should I be asking? Only the ones that you wish to know the answer to. Come! You follow him uh, for another uh, hour and a half. Dan is so, cu interesting. He's so curious. Um, you follow him another hour and a half, and finally uh, the path splits. You walk down for about five minutes, and you come across a farm. Hour and a half? Yeah. 
Did I wow. stutter? <laughs> what? That's a long time. I, I felt like his house was just like on the outskirts of town. He even got me. Uh, An hour and a half. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a campaign is this? I've got things to do. I don't have time for this. My adventurer has to adventure? <laughs> to my house. It's right down the road. An hour and a half long road. It's a long road. It's just like Ireland. Yes. <laughs> you take, it takes you off, off the road to a different path, and he you, you, you stops you in front of a farm. And on the farm, you see there's two kids playing in the distance. Uh, there's a woman who's uh, picking some fruit out of a tree, and you see a farmer who's um, working the... Um, Sweat into the old Yes. Sweat into the old Wow. <laughs> Let's twist again. Uh, like we did last summer. Straight <laughs> bop, <laughs> bop. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. The, many, these oldies <laughs> are phenomenal and I won't <laughs> stop sweating to them. <laughs> that makes sense. So what's he doing, Tony? Uh, what's he, uh, what's he's, good tapes. Uh, good he's harvesting. Tapes. He's harvesting. Good VHS tapes. He's reaping. He's reaping. Mm. He's reaping what he has sown. <laughs> Boy, you keep looking at me. Did I do something? <laughs> that I'm going to be have to reap soon? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's reaping what he has sown. <laughs> he's reaping everything <clears throat> I've sown a lot he deserves. Boys. He's sweating <laughs> over, the, over the seeds. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Role play. <laughs> now that you had all that, <laughs> go ahead. If you want to go see him, go ahead. I'll read you. Okay, I uh, I approach the farmer. Okay. <clears throat> you approach the farmer. He look, looks over to you. And you see him smile, and he walks up to you. Holgar. Super farmer. Yes. You look very different than we last met. I am very different from when we last met. How was it that you wound up here? I was put in charge of the forces during the, uh, the final fight with Dragano. And then the, the people wished me to continue to lead the forces and protect them. So I did. My family was returned to me. But I guess not in the way. I was able to communicate with them and travel to the eagle world. Uh, uh, I believe it a, a power granted by Andor or the, the lion. And then recently, everything changed again. My family appeared. And they've been here ever since. Hmm. Is this... This is your actual family. They are. From many years ago. I have not seen them in thousands of years. But I, have must, I must say, I, yes, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you, you, you go. Sorry. Yes. You first. I was going to say I'm happy, but you were saying it for me. Look at us. <laughs> Talking. Who would have thought? thought? Who would have thought? Not me. No. <laughs> not, not me either. You hear from the bat distance. Whoo. <laughs> hey, Al Doran. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like in, in the lion's realm. Deal with it. <laughs> he sounded like Herbert from the Family Guy. For no. A second. <laughs> hey there. No, that's not, that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. Super farmer. Um, while I'm very happy that you're here with your family and you can see there are a lot of changes happening across Endaria. I'm concerned. He, uh, he kneels down as he's, talk as he's talking to you. And he begins to rub his hand over something. Continue. Super I'm super listening. Farmer? I'm listening. Um, 
Who's a cute little boy? Who's a cute little boy? Yes, you are. Stands back up. Continue. Um. What? Go on. The world is changing. I know this. Ogano has captured the world. My job is is to make sure that everyone's okay. That is all I can do. I am in, I am but one man. Make sure who is okay. My people. Beastborn. I have been charged by an ancient, a god, and I respect that decision and trust he put into me. So I make sure every day. I thought. I thought we completed a, a job, Super Farmer. I, I thought. We saved the world. I thought we saved the planet. But now it seems like we haven't. I have fought many battles before and faced great evils. I fought side by side with one of my best friends, Stagmon. And together, we stopped a lot of menace that would have come to our world. And now I find myself here. The evil will always continue. That is just how it is. But without the good to fight back, the balance would remain, and evil would win, and the world would be gone or in a worse state. So whether we lost or we won or whatever we believe about what happened, the reason we are here is because of what we did for each other and for the world. You saved me at a time where I needed you the most. I was there to help out and fight, to help the lion when he needed it the, the most. Every day the world changes. Do not worry about what was done or not done. Worry about what is in front of you. Uh, that's part of my problem, Super Farmer. I, I, I don't know what's in front of me and I don't know where to go. I, I don't know how to get anywhere. I think you're already in good hands. Aldoran is very wise. And he kneels back down. And you're so cute. You're so cute. Look at you. You are so cute. Is there is there an animal in front of him? No. He stands back up. He stands back up. Go. Super I farmer, keep I what? keep you from Aldoran. Do you do you see an animal that I can't see? <laughs> All be explained in time. It is good to see you. When you are done hanging out with your Aldoran, come and visit. You may have dinner. I'm looking forward to it, Super Farmer. Thank you. You can just call me John. Your name is John? Jonathan, yes. Jonathan? Yes. Okay, Jonathan. I'll see you soon. Do you not like Jonathan? I, it just doesn't seem like a... It's a name i chosen. I figured it was good. It's a name you've chosen? Yes, my old name is... Brings me pain. So I've chosen can to I, move forward. Can I call you John? Like J-O-N, John? Sure. I do, okay, prefer, John. I do prefer that spelling. Okay. It's much cooler than J-O-H-N. I don't even know why the H is there. Okay, John. Oh, my God. I'll be back. I will see you soon. <laughs> I go over to uh, El <laughs> What? <laughs> Tom, do you have a question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Lots of them, but we don't have time. Let's so, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> Please, more etymology. <laughs> more, 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 more history of words. Oh, <laughs> you could you continue on your on your path uh, with Al Aldoran, and we're gonna leave you there for right about now. And we're gonna go to over to Solst to visit with Angry Findelar. Oh, good, yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> A, uh, a portal opens up. You walk through, and you're pissed. 
<laughs> <laughs> You're looking around, and you see Arknum is there, and Arknum is looking at you like... And there's a couple of the wizards there. And the whole place is in shambles. And he seems you're in like a small room. And down below you can see is, is all half giants in there. And it looks like they're being quiet and they're trying to they're going over stuff like plans or whatever they're doing. Octum walked over to you. What happened? Did you get everyone out safely? I got out when I could. What happened? We failed. We failed. We didn't fail. We did what we could, and many people escaped. Now glad you have returned. The Red Knight uh, has sent a message through one of his wizards. He said that they are sending uh, forces over. He's leading them personally and we're going to take back souls. And I have on good word that the, the Dragon Essence is waiting for the attack. And we will try to try to make the city what it's supposed to be. Alright. We're going to kill every last one of these half-giants. He turns to one of his or make send a message to Essence, tell her to come here. What has happened since I've left? The half giants are, are just mulling around. They've been looting everywhere. Um, the cultists are in the streets. They're uh, they're even trying to turn some of the half giants. The half giants don't even care. Some of them do, some of them don't. Many of them worship the archmage. They're just hungry for war. Some of them worship. Most of them worship the uh, the ones who don't don't worship uh, uh, the archmage. Worship the uh, dark majesty. And um, it's just chaos. It's just bloodthirst. I'm feeling a little of that myself lately. Yes. And speaking of bloodthirst. Yeah, you look. I have been turned into a vampire. That's. That's not good. No. But I am alive and I am able to do my duty to the city. So I want you to know that I will not do anything to disgrace what you have built. Good. Are there other vampires here? Yes. Apparently the Helifix had a large chapter of vampires here hidden in the city. We killed the necromancers, yes, but Helifix was, was already planning on some sort of retribution against them. So the vampires are now uh, led by uh, uh, one that we've met before, Julian. Do you remember him? I can't think clearly right now. The name sounds familiar. But... Well. We have other things to think about. We'll kill the half-giants, and then we'll worry about the vampires and fixing all of that. Yes. We have oh. not seen the Dark Majesty at all. We have, uh... No, we have not seen Dark Majesty. We believe he went to the tree. I'm tired. I went to. I went to see the Chronomancer. See if we can undo all this. All he kept giving me was riddles. Finally, I said I'd had enough. I said I could go anywhere I wanted and take care of what I need to take care of. I decided to come back here and fix the city. Rid it of all the. Filthy half giants that invaded it! <clears throat> Do you truly believe that Chronomancy can change things. I think it's the best. I thought it was the best opportunity that we had to go back in time and undo what was done. The tree is lost. Dragano has taken the world. This, all that's left is vengeance. That's what I plan on getting here. There are many people hidden throughout the city. There are more some small sects of wizards around. The, the walking tower is not near anymore. They, um, it has been taken uh, to the north for protection, waiting for another assault. Um, it's important that we continue the law, show people that we are still operating. Um, we do have some good, a bit of good news. Um, let me show you. Go upstairs. Fine. Takes you upstairs. Opens the door. <laughs> Opens the door up. And you see inside is Bardo. Joined by Vigorish. Roleplay. You have returned. Excellent. What did you learn? What did you learn while you were in the portal? Hmm. 
from the same things you learned. Yes, well, it looks like the Dark Majesty is taking control of, of things. But don't worry, I have an idea to solve all of our problems. Oh, what's that? As you see, the madness is, is has was sweeping already through everywhere, many parts of the world, I believe, and it's still sweeping through here. I think even more so because of the fact that the shield was up than down, and now it's causing some sort of chain reaction. So, I believe the madness will only grow. Arknum says, as do I. But, notice that your friend Arknum here and I do not suffer from the madness. That is because our souls, our links to the eagle world have been severed. Because the eagle world is gone. So, I plan to make an announcement to everyone. I believe one that will allow us greater strength and more power to fight back against all these filthy half-giants. We will turn the eager citizens that are losing their madness, the ones that have appeared and perhaps will die again, all that will be lost, we will turn them into a vampire. You see, the vampires don't have to be something on the outside. They are not a plague. They are the antidote to our problem. We can solve this. Get rid of all that were here before. The vampires were here for a long time. They wish nothing else. They just wish to exist. I can kill the one called Julian, leading them. They followed Helifix. We know him to be against the city. You know I am to be for the city. If... And I, uh... You are a vampire already, I assume, by your... I am sorry. I had not revealed that. I am a vampire. I, uh, and my desire remains the same, to make sure that everyone is safe here in the city. Let us get control of what happens here. If you wish to kill Julian, take over the vampire horde, I have no problem with that whatsoever. All I care about, all I care about, is getting back at these things from destroying my city and of figuring course. out a way to undo all this. Agreed. Would you allow me to give people the choice to become a vampire? If they choose that, Arctum seems very happy. Go ahead. Very good, thank you. He smiles to you, Vigrish. Arctum, when, when, do, uh, when do the Red Knight's forces arrive? When will this dragon appear? When can we attack? Essence will be here shortly to meet with us. Um, I believe that in about four days' time, the Red Knight will, will arrive by ship. Four days? I throw something. <laughs> I'll be in my study. Of course. Be careful not to leave the tower. They don't know we're up here. Fine. My, Vigorish, do you now see the future that is lined up for us? Arctum, uh, yeah. Arctum walks out. I, I, I think I do, Mr. Bardell, but... Is this what we wanted? Is this what we were trying to do from the beginning? This is the future. This is what happened. We are vampire. I, you, Arknum, the others. But some of these vampires don't understand what it means to be a vampire. It's not about... It's not about... preying upon the weak. <clears throat> well, I mean, yeah, I, I know that. You know that. Excellent. Then you will help me eradicate them one by one. But not until the chaos ensues. Because they will be in the fighting. And they may hurt the numbers of the half-giants. But if they do not, then we will kill them. You see, this coming event is very tricky, Vigorish. You see, we do not want the half-giants to win. 
nor do we want the Red Knights to win. Do you want to be under the rule of Red Knight law? Well, n- no. I mean, I, I, I thought you wish we to would be, f- be under. You wish we to would be, f- be under the rule of souls. Of course. But what do you think will happen if the Red Knight comes here? You've seen. You, you've heard his words. He will station troops. He will force his will. So we want Solst to be in the hands of Solst, aren't you agreed? Well, yeah, but I mean, what, what are we going to do if the Red Knight comes here? The Red Knight will will come here. Well, yeah, what are we going to do? We must make sure that he does not succeed, and yet he does not lose. We must make we must drive the war to a stalemate, and then we will give a choice to those that are suffering to come to vampire kind. Our kind will grow, and then we can live here in peace. We won't have to hide who we are. We'll have to keep it in the secret and skulk in the alleys. We can be free, and I will do the dirty work. I will make the vampire. But Vigorish, you have the willpower to be a leader. I want you to lead them. What do you think? You want you want me to lead the vampires of souls? Yes. Why? You have what it takes. I am more of a strategist. They will love you. <clears throat> they will follow you. How can we how can we keep this war at a stalemate for such a long time? It will not be hard to sway the war of things. Just about which side we must be on in all moments. Again, we fight for Solst. We always fight for Solst. Yeah. I, I want to fight for Solst. He yeah, pours some champagne, says we should drink a toast. Gives you a champagne bottle. There's blood in it instead of champagne. Oh god, I was gonna say. <laughs> There's blood pain. <laughs> to the future of Solst, may vampires roam freely. To Solst. He drinks. You guys, you guys drink on it. You go back to your room. What do you do? Um, I start angrily looking for bo- books on chronomancy, trying to figure out if I can figure my own way, since the the, the chronomancer wouldn't help me. Uh, whatever his crazy riddle plan was, um, and I imagine I get very frustrated because there's not a lot of uh, there's a lot of dead ends in whatever soul's knowledge of chronomancy is. Right, there is. So that's what I do over the next four days. Is I'm not. I'm not focused. I'm. I want to. I want to get very obsessive and angry about the fact that I can't figure it out myself. You have a knock on the door. A couple hours in, and you it's essence. Findelar. Essence. How can I help you? I believe it's how can I help you. Kill the half giants. Free my city. You're very angry. I can't imagine a reason why. Oh, wait. Everything is awful. The whole world is destroyed. My city is destroyed. I failed everyone. And I can't figure out a simple thing like how to go back and fix it. Perhaps because you're clouded with so much of your anger. It seems like these days, that's all I feel. Perhaps well, you know that's what? why you're not finding the answers to anything. You know what I don't need? Therapy. What I need is to kill half-giants. I understand your boss is going to be here in three and a half days with an army, and that's what we're going to do. Mm. What, what would you like me to do? Do you know exactly. anything about chronomancy? Alone. 
Arctum uh, steps out behind the door. Um, and obviously was there showing you to, to there. He goes, uh, Sir, excuse me for eavesdropping, um, but we should speak also about the ones I sent to the portal. I didn't think about it. Only two of them came out. Where are the rest? They have not shown up yet. Where were they supposed to arrive? I now fear it is not where, but when. <sighs> when we, when Bardo and, and uh, the boy Vigorous, when they appeared, did they give any inkling as to where the rest of them were? They didn't, they didn't know where they were. They didn't know, I'm sorry. They didn't know where their allies were and why they weren't joined by them. They entered the rift, they explained to us what happened, all sorts of things which I will brief you on soon. They met the Archmage inside the portal. The Archmage is trapped there by the Blood Majesty. It's better and better. They then walk back to lead through a portal. They all walk through. The others first. Then Bardo and Vigorish last. They showed up here. All right. Um, all right. So we now we believe that there's something with this portal that is affecting time. The portal, the portal, I believe, is shaped, connected to an ego realm of the Blood Majesties of some sort. All right. Time works differently there. There's a possibility then that the these people who left earlier may have come through already, or may not come through for. It is. Those it, it is possible they are here, and we do not know. Yes, of course. Did anyone search the catacombs of the city to see if they were lost or... We have no way of searching anything outside this tower right now. We are hiding. How did they, the two of them, uh, Bardo and, and Vigorish, how did we find them? That they've, they've found their own way up? Yes. The vampires helped them escape, make their ways around the city. <laughs> well, always good to have friends. Am I familiar with the vampires? Uh, you know very little about them. Whatever you hear now is kind of what you know. Okay, do I know of Arkman, Arknum to be a vampire? Like, do I, like... You know he's a vampire. You, you, could, you could tell the difference in him. <laughs> and I could smell the difference. You know what right. vampires are and things like that, yeah. Yes, you could, you could, you could uh, the scent's different. Okay. Um, all right. Did they get anything while they were there? I mean, okay, we know the Arkman is, uh, is imprisoned by the Dark Majesty, which is more terrific news. Uh, do you know if anybody got any intel about what the Dark Majesty's long-term plans are or how to defeat them? I, uh... Or how to get the Archmage out? The Red Knight is very concerned about their return. Yeah, well... I am... So... When you... We spoke... You went to the tree and then you helped us fight the battle and yeah, such. Yeah. Um, you took refugee in Eastwatch, and we spoke briefly, out of game in between mo- in between scenes. Um, you said you destroyed the Dark Majesty. Sorry, my. <laughs> You're right. My brain is hard to focus, but even with wait a second. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Perhaps we should rest. Wait. 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 I did. If I destroyed the Dark Majesty, the question stands, then how does this portal to his ego world still exist? I don't know. (laughs) All right. Okay. All right. I need to think. I need to do research on this as well. Is it possible killing him now affected it? somehow in the past and it messed up the the temporal flux I know nothing of chronomancy though I don't know enough it's possible it's possible too that while I killed his physical body there's some other piece of him somewhere that exists the same as Drugano that we also have to find to truly destroy him 
it would make sense that his soul would now be tied to Dragano's, perhaps, because every soul, as we can as we can tell, when you die, instead of going to Zendaria, you go to Dragano. Every soul, good, bad, evil, from this world or not, you will be attracted to the core, the crystal, inside this world. There is no escape, it seems. I feel the same way sometimes. All right. Um... Should I perhaps look for those that have come through the portal? You would be the only one that probably could. If they are outside of the lands, perhaps you would spot them. And if they are not around and they will arrive in the future, it is possible that we will fail in this battle. If we do, with Findalar's blessing on this, of course, perhaps you could make sure that they arrive and are just help them along to wherever they need to go. Is that something that you can do? It is. If is we that f- what you wish of me? Yes, if we fail. If we fail. They'll be all that's left of Solst. It's important for them to to get out of whatever is left of this city safely. I'll do that. Thank you. I'm sorry. I believe the, the I understand the chronomancy is it seems to have taken a toll on you, so do not need to explain yourself. You uh, should have I should have done better, and I didn't, and it you amaze me. Why? Your your feelings. <laughs> your journeys. You amaze me. I I don't know what to say. We will let you rest. Thank you. Maybe that'll help. Essence, if you will come with me. Of course. You close the door. Leave it to yourself. Um, we're going to go back and play out one more scene before we go. Guys, we're going a little bit longer tonight. We're going to have a, a shorter after show. Uh, we're going to go a, a couple more minutes, and then... Uh, we will have uh, Dungeon Talk after. Guys, uh, please donate. We're on our, on our last uh, 15 minutes. Uh, we appreciate every donation you've done before. If you have anything left that you wish to give to uh, Pank One, we appreciate it. I'm sure they appreciate it. And um, um, also, uh, just, just to announce, uh, on behalf of Phoenix Studios, we're going to be putting in $500 just to add on to whatever is donated here today. Um, nice. So um, awesome. we, hope that you, we hope that you guys... Um, uh, we hope that you guys can, uh, you know, uh, donate whatever you can. We appreciate that you're that you're watching, and we appreciate that you're helping out. And as you heard from the beginning of the show, that it's obviously a terrible thing that some people are are been going through. And uh, there is hope, and they can't do it without the research. And they need they need our help to uh, uh, to play our part. Um, okay, so let's go to our last scene right now. This should be a doozy. <laughs> 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 We now return to Celestial War, the Iron Kingdom. So, we return to uh, the scene with Arky, with Botorius, with Relic. You guys are outside of the city. You've been talking about the uh, the plan you have. Yes. Um, as you're sitting there talking, all of a sudden, you see something scurrying on the side of your vision. Roll d20. 11. 15. 19. <gasps> 19. Plus the two, right? Yeah, plus two. 21. 21. You see a floating eye. <sighs> Fly off in the distance. Is it just like so fast that it's already like gone? Yeah. You just you just saw it and then in the next second it's already like a couple hundred feet away. <laughs> We're being spied upon. We're being spied upon. Then a floating eye. Do you think they could have heard what we said, or did they just see us? What do you know of these things, Relic? I will give you one guess as to who it probably was. What? Belmont. That's who I'm thinking. I wonder if he. You think he's got that power, that magic? He could have hired somebody to do it. 
Which way is the uh, eye go off? Sunken City. The eye's going. So. Uh. <laughs> is it safe for us to go back to the Sunken City now? Yes. I think so. Why do you think that? What if he. We. Okay. That's. All right. You just do. Okay. I trust you, Notorious. So. <laughs> Onto our plan. We will deliver you Belmont. But what are we? What are you gonna do in the meantime? I mean, if you just sit here, he may is, go out and attack you today. Tony, just describe the um the surroundings to me one more time for like the sunken like a setup. You're near. You're you're like behind, wrapped around like behind the mountains, going along into about a quarter mile away. You would hit the sunken city. You're you're in the ends of the the desert and the beginnings of the uh, the, mount, the mountains are right there, right? Yeah. Okay. I will bring my people to the edge of the mountains, and we will remain there until you bring us help. Perfect. I'll tell him we spoke to you, realize the fruitlessness of your ways, and if ran, he'll. Uh, but what if he wants to immediately get chase? Charles Morrison says, lie to them like you always do. Yes, but <laughs> which lies and to who? <laughs> I have so many lies. Which one do I tell? Oh, man. The last time I encountered you, did you not fly off with your friend here? Yes. So why not just grab Bellow and bring him straight to me? I mean, he's... You see. He's got an army with him. He's got an army with him. And so he's that's the first difficulty. Flamethrowers. <laughs> I was thinking. See, my plan was you needed to buy a little time, just enough time for a meal. What if we tell him that Smithy's is going to try out a new menu and there'll be a little something special in it? Him <laughs> and his bodyguard <laughs> fall unconscious. Just grab him and bring him. <laughs> Relic. A little subtlety may be required. I understand you're a you got an in-your-face attitude, but we do things a little differently around here. The longer you delay, the right. longer my people stay in your city, the longer I will be here. Okay, we'll right. go back. All right. We've got it. We'll meet you in the mountains. Yes, let's Those go. The mountains right there. Yes. All right. Perfect. That's the plan. <laughs> let's go. Okay. You fly back? Well, I can go back with them, I guess. So you walk back the other. I, I'll, well, yes, I'll walk back with them. You guys walk back. Come back to the front gates. Open the gates. Nothing happens. <laughs> You've been ousted from your own place. <laughs> uh, oh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Oh, hierarchy. Well, um, listen. It seems that you've all plotted to betray me. So unfortunately... I have to take over the sunken city to protect myself! What are you talking about? I heard of your little plan out there in the desert! Oh, oh, uh, the conversation that we just had. <laughs> yeah, With I heard it, JD heard it, and a few other people heard it, and it's not gonna happen! Oh, well, that's <laughs> good that we weren't being honest with them, isn't it? Yes. If you believe that, think... certainly they do as well! You think we're gonna... Just go out there and just tell them our whole plan. You think that's what Arky would do? You think that Arky would go out there and just tell the the, the opposing force all the details about cannons. everything going on and his exact you plan? See, you see the cannons. Obviously, <laughs> he wasn't being honest to them. The cannons on the walls aim down while you're talking to you. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to step out of your suit. You're going to put down your weapons. And then you'll come inside. Okay. Oh, oh what? Under... under uh, you're arresting us? Is that, is that what oh, you're yeah. doing? Oh, yeah. Yep. Ostrich. <gasps> Bellamon! Jinty's right there. He goes, uh, sorry, guys, uh, but, uh, that, I heard it too, but, uh, you know, I don't think this, I don't think you should get hurt. I just think that, you know, we got to figure out what's happening here because there's a lot of crystal boards are everywhere. It's <laughs> obvious, you guys. <laughs> it's obvious you're all getting a little worked up and nervous, I understand. Yes. Ridiculous. Bellamon, it's only because I desire no trouble and care so much for the safety of the people of the sunken city that yeah. I will now do this. And I grab Pultorius and just fly away. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you grab it. You grab oh, see, see how see how easy that was, right? That uh, would have worked the I'll other way. You were supposed to grab Bella. <laughs> you grab Atorius. <laughs> you, you fly through the air. Uh, they don't fire. Unhand me. Not well. <laughs> you don't mean that right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> you grab Atorius. You fly through the air. I can't believe you did this to us. You fly through the air and you fly back to, I guess, him? Uh, Your new God. friend? Uh, no, I mean, we'll fly. <laughs> no, we fly someplace else first. <laughs> so where do you fly to? Let's <laughs> get a good meal. Different, you know, <laughs> somewhere for a little farther down the mountain. Like where we're supposed <laughs> to meet them. A couple you, know, of miles. you know I need specifics. Because <laughs> it's all in our mind. <laughs> to the mountains, but not exactly where we were going to go meet them. Just so we okay, can chat so for a minute. You see, oh, you see him fly over with the two of them. They leave the other guards that were there, just there. They fly away. Great leader. <laughs> and he flies over to somewhere in the mountains near you, but not with you. What does he do? Rono asks. I believe Bellamon may have known what we were planning. It seems we are on our own, like usual. Yes. What is your plan? Let us survey the sunken city first. Maybe we can learn a way in. And retrieve Bellum and this king. Either him or more of our people. You said they are being controlled by the stabs and the crystals. We will free them, yes. And that is where we were at an audio dungeon today. <laughs> Save everything.